This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor of RCO Wireless News. I'm here with Scott Fischel, who is Chair of the Certification Working Group for Multifire Alliance. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good, good. And uh, you guys have had some news coming out of the Certification Working Group. Uh, tell us what's going on. Well, yes. Um, thank you for this opportunity. Absolutely. So, um, the Multifire Alliance uh, is continuing its mission to enable technology for the uh, help of deployment of private networks in the licensed and shared spectrum uh, area. And so uh, we now have a new release, Multifire 1.1, uh, which is providing some new uh, opportunities there. It uh, is delivering on enhancements to the existing Multifire 1.0 specification, uh, which has been released. And it's enabling a global 5 gigahertz uh, application. And then um, in the area of enhancing IoT services, uh, we've now deployed or en enabled in, in our release 1.1 a, um, some features in support of narrowband IoT in the 800-900 gigahertz bands, mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, in the 2.4 gigahertz, gigahertz band, the EMTC communications. So enabling them to be used in unlicensed spectrum. So, um, and then as well, uh, expanding in other uh, spectrum areas, and uh, the announcements today is around 1.9 uh, 1 .9 gigahertz services. Okay. Okay. So we're uh, working with the XGP Forum in Japan. Um, we've uh, developed a certification program which will enable uh, testing and certification of uh, the large ecosystem of devices uh, that are support uh, 3GPP band 39, which is a TDD uh, LTE service. Um, and so in Japan, that, that program, there's already a billion plus devices available. And with some minor modifications on the eNode B uh, side mm -hmm. that enable uh, through a listen before talk mechanism, uh, we're able to now enable a large uh, availability of devices for use uh, in deployment into private, uh, private networks uh, in, in that 1.9 1 1 gigahertz unlicensed uh, spectrum. So the announcement is around our multi-fire certification program, mm -hmm. which is now in place. Um, it's based on the assessment of the eNode B and the UE uh, to ensure interoperable uh, support. And when you do that in a, uh, and, and support that with a certification program, you can be ensure, uh, assured that there won't be issues out in the field found. So uh, yeah, so we, we uh, both have a program developed there. We've authorized our first test lab. Uh, DECRA Japan to provide those testing services for us and we're rolling out the program today for the benefit of our members. So that sounds like a pretty significant expansion. Can you talk a little bit about, um, you know, th that's a pretty large installed base to suddenly be able to operate a multifier. Right, exactly. So um, it's taking advantage of, of all of those Band 39 uh, handsets that are already out there in the marketplace mm -hmm. and by the ass assessing the eNode B and the minor changes that have been made there and just assuring the interoperability, um, it, it's, um, it enables this ecosystem to be uh, deployed for into private networks, uh, utilizing the 1.9 gigahertz uh, Japan Japan region band. So, and then and you've also authorized Decra Japan as the first test lab to uh, to go ahead and conduct third-party independent testing for interoperability purposes. Exactly. Yeah. So Decra has been a very uh, supportive member of the alliance. Uh, they are. Uh, from the early days of the Alliance back in 2016, uh, they've been a member and uh, supporting us in the development of this program. So we're really happy to have them on board. And do you expect that the, the certification program for that particular band, uh, do you expect to expand uh, the number of test labs that are available for, uh, for certification? Um, it's possible over time. Um, we found a really good partner with, with DECRA and, and they have a global presence too. And, and uh, Multifier Alliance and the uh, expansion of you know, our, f our future is, is looking to expand uh, into other bands, as as we talked about with the, the release 1.1, mm -hmm. uh, the multivire technical specification that contemplates uh, use of uh, and deployment of private networks into other bands throughout uh, the, the world. Or the world. So um, yes, I mean uh, they they uh, they have global presence, and we'd look to uh, expand that partnership with them as well. Okay. Is there anything else we should know that's coming out of the certification working group? Okay. Well, yes. Um, so we're working on uh, additional certification programs. Okay. 
um, that are uh, will be coming out in support of rollout of the uh, multi-fire uh, 1.1 uh, expansion into other uh, you know bands. Okay. So yes. Great. Well, Scott, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thank you.